Drones are used extensively by the Gisborne District Council to gather images of places people cannot access by foot. Gisborne District Council's principal scientist, Dr Murray Cave, says drone use has grown over the last three years since they got their first drone. So the drone flies over, um, will take probably around about six, seven hundred photographs looking down vertically, which we'll then stitch together um, using software and then load into our GIS. And that allows us to assess the erosion risk, um, the areas that we need to um, plant and particular types of plants, and also to assess whether or not there's any problems with the uh, water pipeline to the city. That's the general focus of today. The Gisborne District Council have three drones. The DJI Phantom 4 Pro, which costs $3,500. It is the GDC's most frequently used drone as it's compatible with aerial mapping software. A smaller Mavic drone worth $1,500 that's used for videos and a waterproof drone worth $4,000 that is being trialled for flood gauging work. There are a limited number of people trained as drone operators at the GDC. Amon Farrell is a primary operator. The drones are used to map the Wainaki Reserve to see if there are any land issues that need to be fixed. That higher resolution information we can get out of drone footage that allows us to plan far more detail of what we can out of our existing aerial photography. So it's just a far more high resolution um, piece of imagery we can see and because we can do it in pretty much real time, um, whereas it's too expensive to fly aerial photography, it means that we can keep on updating our material and so that we can keep up in this particular instance here with what's happening with the, the harvest because uh, our area of photography here just shows us all covered in pine.